How's it going everybody? North Bay Joe here. We're going to do a quick video about how to import vehicles into Z modeler properly. I see a lot of people uh, posting videos where they're importing vehicles and they're frankly just not doing it correctly. And uh, it ends up causing issue later on with your model lots or there, there could be so many reasons you don't want to have an improper import. Uh, but uh, let me just go ahead and quickly show you guys how I do it and how uh, you should do it as well. Uh, you can go ahead and always open up your uh, clean copy of the modeler. Uh, go ahead and uh, find a vehicle to practice with. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, search for a comet here. So we're going to take the comet too. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up, uh, make a folder here. You can do it on your desktop, your documents folder. It doesn't matter where you make it as long as you know where it's at. I named mine demo for the purpose of this video and we're using the comet 2 so i named a folder named comet 2. you want to create folders like these it helps keep things organized uh, that way if you start working on multiple cars for example here as you can see we have lots of vehicles that we've worked on <laughs> it's uh it adds up really quickly um, so you name the formula comet make some subfolders i make one called unlock template save parts dds and convert uh, this is for when, if you're unlocking a vehicle, which we're not going to explain in this video, uh, you would put the unlocked uh, files into this folder. Templates for the UV map, saves for the saves, of course, for Z modeler. Parts is for mod parts you create for it. DDS is for the textures, and convert is for the final product that's different from the original vehicle that you imported. Um, so what I usually do here is I just take the two and drag it right into the main folder. Let's go ahead and get the YTDs as well for it. Uh, quickly here, let's just probably be all the way down at the mi middle of the comet, comet, comet. Right here, comet 2. It's got a high and low uh, YTD. So we'll go ahead and grab both of those. So now we got these. And usually, um, a lot of files you're going to have, of course, you're going to be locked. Like I said, uh, these are vanilla GTA files, so they will not be locked. Uh, and uh, you'll have to learn from another video where. Perhaps we'll make a video on that in the future, but this is just the importing um, of the files in here. So you're going to go ahead and go to your Z modeler now that you got those in the folder. Um, and if you were to have these unlocked, since we don't have to do that, we're just going to paste them into our unlock folder since they already are unlocked. Uh, so you go to your Z modeler here, click on import. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our demo folder like i said you can save it to your desktop doesn't matter where and you'll see it's comet 2 folder unlock and you're going to see the two yft files in here that you're high and low uh, what you always want to make sure is that the ytds are in the same folder with it it's very important that you do that um, this is going to import the textures from those ytds into z modeler uh, and by doing that you just select either one of the files real quick and make sure it down here at the bottom where it says preload packs that you have selected all YTDs in the current folder. That way it brings in every YTD uh, that's with these files next to it. Uh, that way, if you have textures associated with it, it brings it with it and you don't just have a checkered uh, model inside a Z modeler. So go ahead and just start with your high YFT first, select it and click import. As you can see, it imported it improperly. Um, right there, Comet 2. And then you're gonna go ahead and go to your low, select it, click import. And now as you can see, it has imported all the LODs with the vehicle properly. Um, I will quickly touch base on this. Let's do a quick demonstration. Sometimes the vehicle will be not by your fault or by someone else's fault, named something completely different. Someone renamed it after the fact. Um, and as you can see with the A here, what's gonna happen is now that I, it's someone renamed it and you go try to import that in and it's different from its original name and it says Comet 2 here. If you ever see that, because if I try to go bring in the low, it's not gonna let me bring it in. It's gonna bring it in as two separate files here. And that's because it's not named correctly. So what you're going to do is go to the name here that it was there. 
and you're just going to go ahead and you know rename it back to the proper name this is only if someone's renamed it after it's been exported out of cmodder it happens quite often and so i'm telling you how to fix this now so you avoid you know any of these issues yourself um so now that we renamed it of course like i said as you can see high import low import no more duplicated files and no more issues and all the logs are present um so now that we have the vehicle imported that's how you get it imported um and uh yeah if you uh have any uh questions please make sure to hit the uh like button for the video comment your questions down below um we are live every day on twitch.tv slash north bay joe uh we'll be happy to help you with any questions you may have uh for z modeler we do dev work usually in the beginning or the end of streams we've been taking a little bit of a break lately because we did a quite a bit of dev work over the last like several months uh and we're just kind of doing some role play uh in the meantime uh you're welcome to join my discord as well uh we have community members that will take the attempt to help you uh with your z modeler questions uh, and uh yeah if you uh want to join the community uh we'll be happy to have you uh, we also are live on youtube as well but the majority of our community comes from twitch and uh we'd look forward to seeing you over there on the next stream Thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace out. Good night. And uh, bye, dudes.